it's Teacher Melody and welcome to GoTalkTo.com. Today we're going to talk about how to use verb tenses such as has been, have been, and had been. In this lesson we will also discuss when it is appropriate to use them in order for us to communicate clearly when the action is happening. If you are aiming to ace your English job interview, or preparing for the admission interviews to the universities, I have a grammar lesson for you. I'm pretty sure that you will find this topic super helpful since most interview questions require you to talk about work experience. Not only that, this will also give them a sense of clarity, especially to the hiring manager or interviewer. And in this video, I will also share with you guys some common questions that may help you stand out and keep you grammatically correct. At the end of this lesson, you may click the description box below to test your English level, including your understanding about verb tenses. And mind you guys, that comes with no additional cost. Yep, you heard it right. It's absolutely for free. If you visit and log into our website at gotalkto.com or www.gotalkto.com, your English test result can be evaluated with an online teacher. And not only that, you will also going to be given a free $10 credit that you can use to book your first 30-minute trial lesson with any teacher of your choice. Well, you can choose me if you want. <laughs> All right, let's go back to verb tenses. Verb tenses depend on the form of noun and when the action is happening. Let's start with has been. Now, has been goes with singular subjects such as he, she, and it. It is also used when expressing a continuous action from a specific period until the present time. Let's say, for example, it has been a dream for me to be part of this university since high school. Now, the starting point in this statement is the phrase, since high school. And, of course, the present continuous verb that we use here is has been. This statement shows that his dream to become part of the university started since he was in high school and it continues up to the present time. Let's have another example. My mother has been supportive with my passion ever since I was in high school. The starting point in this statement here is the phrase, I was in high school, or since I was in high school. This means that his mom showed support to him since he was still in his high school years. Another example, I prefer this university because it has been one of the best law school in Michigan since 2015. Can you tell me where the starting point is? All right, well basically the starting point in this statement here is since 2015. This indicates that the university remains on the list as one of the best law school in Michigan for five straight years, including this year. Now, just like the first verb tense, have been is used when actions have continued for a specific period until the present day. However, it goes with I, you, and all other plural subjects such as we and they. Let me give you an example. I've been staying in New York for two weeks and I'm starting to adapt to its fast-paced environment. The starting point in this statement here is the phrase two weeks. And the subject here is the word I. Do you want another example? Okay. Another one is we have been passionate with numbers since we were kids. That is why we chose this course. The starting point in this statement here is the phrase, since we were kids. And the plural subject here is the word, we. Again, just like the verb tense has been, 
have been is used when actions have continued to a specific period until the present day. The only difference is it goes with subjects such as I, you, and all other subjects that are plural in form such as we and they. Now on the other hand, for our last verb tense, had been, this can go with any forms of subjects. A lot of people find this as one of the easiest verb tense because it can go with any forms of subjects. The only thing is it signifies an action at a specific point in the past. All right, let me give you an example. Due to financial problem, it had been a challenge for me to finish this course since 2019 until I found this scholarship program. The statement indicates that it had been a challenge for him to finish this course since 2019, but it's no longer a challenge for him now since he found the scholarship program. The stop signal here is the word until. Okay, let's move on to the next um, example. He had been active in our English club for years, but he left it for data analytics group. This means that he has been active in the English club, but not anymore. The stop signal here is the word left. This also signals that the action is something done in the past. Okay, I guess we have given you guys a pretty much decent number of examples. Are you more confident now to use the right verb tenses in your interviews? How about we're going to make or do some practice? I'll ask you guys a common job interview questions and you should be able to answer them in five seconds. Are you game? Okay. The first question is, what has been your most favorite part of working as a manager? I hope your answer is somewhat like this. Even from the start, being able to help has been my most favorite part of working as a manager. As long as you were able to use the right verb tense, has been, and you also indicated a starting point, which in this case we used from the start, then you got it right. Okay, question number two. How long have you been working for that company? Is your answer somewhat like this? I have been working for this company for five years. As long as you were able to use this verb tense, have been, and you also indicated a certain period, which in this case, we used five years, then you got it right. And you're doing a great job. Let's move on to our last question. How long have you been working on that project before you were able to publish it? Okay, I hope you answered, I had been working on that project for two years before it was published. So in this case, our verb tense here is had been, and we use the period two years. And then the stop signal here is it was published, which means the project is already finished. Now, basically, especially for beginners, the easiest way to do it is to listen carefully to your hiring manager's question and then use the same verb tenses. But it's still important to keep in mind to stay clear in expressing when the action is happening. Okay? And basically, that's it. That's a wrap already. If you want to improve your English communication, we can help you with practical English lessons and we'll do it your way. It can be through one-on-one -on -one coaching, role play, workshops, and seminars. Pretty much, we are very 
creative teachers here at gotalkto.com. You may want to claim now your free $10 credit by signing up on our website at www.gotalkto.com so you can book your first 30-minute trial lesson with us or with me. Well, I shall see you soon for another English lesson at gotalkto.com. Have a good one.